goddess, it's me, Ron. Good morning, Lord Lady. Um, we made it to week two, and I wanted to send you a quick note and tell you things that I'm thinking during this quarantine. First, the silence of the city is deafening, but really, I will be honest, quite, quite peaceful. I mean, piercing ambulance sirens now have more meaning, and screeching chirps of birds are becoming quite annoying. Money will run out in two days, and navigating the unemployment page is daunting. It so is not made for the right brain set. The whole thing, you know, where you were warned that one must save up enough money for six months to live. Advice I should have really listened to. I mean, there really should be a financial community class that teaches the people that have Peter Pan syndrome like me. Oh, the, the Yorkie and um, the Schnoodle are really digging the... They get our undivided attention 24 seven. I mean, our seven walks a day and unlimited time to go out in peace seems to make them happy. Are you there, goddess? It's me, Ron. Hey, we reached week three of the pandemic in three weeks. I mean, I, I just passed the panic stage in the quarantine and have reached the, well, fuck, we're in for the long haul and goddess, I'm scared. Now listen, I've done everything you asked. I baked the bread, planted the victory garden, stopped brushing my teeth, made the mess, cleaned the guest bedroom, watched the Tiger King, but what is next? Oh, the Yorkie and the Schnoodle are not amused anymore. Their nap cycle is shit now, and they have decided to eat only when we do. Luckily, we eat 30 times a day. Are you there, goddess? It's me, Ron. Oh, Lordish, you are quite funny. Funny lady. When I asked for a sign, I was I was hoping for an inspiring email, a fucking rainbow, or even a check from the government, but you thought combining the Yorkie and the Schnoodle's anxiety, curiosity, and anxious fear of dread would be a fun combination. Okay, reader, we may have found the diary of the future. Let me back up. You see the other quarantine day? Don't ask me which day, because they're all blending together. Um, like a bad Glee mashup song. Um, the schnoodle was left out in the backyard, you know, his pooping oasis and safe zone. And he immediately started barking. I mean, more barking. Bark, 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 bark. And I, it, it erupted. It just erupted. And I was like, something was amiss. And since I was in the kitchen washing my seventh uh, sink full of dishes for the day, I decided to investigate. Well, the schnoodle was uh, out digging in the yard and uh, frantic ripping up plastic tarp and the Yorkie ran around his big brother, much like Jerry Lewis would do in a, you know, a Dean Martin bad funny black and white film. And excited about the new pandemic arrival, you see, dear reader, the schnoodle was trying to see something and set something free underneath the tarp. Well, <clears throat> curious, scared, apprehensive. I went to investigate, and here, dear reader, is why I think the goddess has a sick sense of humor. The schnoodle have found three, count them, three baby kittens. Later, through an extensive Google search, we determined that the kittens were one day old. The web world told us to leave them alone for a day and see if the mama returns. Well, 24 hours later, no mama inside, storm clouds are brewing in the distance. We brought the babies inside. You there, goddess? It's me, Ron. First night, Google search has shown us the way. Use an eyedropper to feed the baby kittens every two hours. Use milk and keep them warm. Easy. Well, we are not prepared. The only eyedropper that we have is attached to our marijuana tincture bottle. Okay, that'll work. Oh, the schnoodle has switched to mother figure. He has claimed the kittens as his babies. Are you there, goddess? It's me, Ron. Oh, dear Lord Lady, the kittens are high. We have damn lethargic kittens. Chants echo through the house at midnight. For the love of God, Google high kittens. I can't tell if their eyes are closed for being unborn or are they are fucking too high. Let's just get high and deal with this. We are fucking adults. The schnoodle circles the makeshift bed box protecting the kittens from the train spotting scene that's being acted out. Are you there, goddess? It's me, Ron. Googling at 2 a.m. Kitty WebMD. The very informative page states no cow milk. Oh shit, must be a formula of special spiritual ingredients. 
We can't leave the house. How do we get this special life-saving ingredients for this kitty formula? Should we start drinking? I mean, there are no rules now. We can deal with this better with a cocktail in hand. Our own special spiritual drink shall be made. The schnoodle's judgmental stare will not stop us. Are you there, goddess? It's me, Ron. 4 a.m. It's tipsy, tired, but tenacious. We can save these little wonders. Let's make a pact that we do not name them. We cannot get attached. Are you there, goddess? It's me, Ron. 10 a.m. Our special overnight rush job kitty formula bottles heating pad has been delivered from the Amazon for Tiger Little Poe and Princess Catafalandia. We have run completely out of money now, and calls have determined the vet is closed, and 311 can't get a hold of Animal Rescue Center. We are buckling down and conquering this on our own. The Yorkie is jealous of the little ones, and the Schnoodle is not amused. Are you there, goddess? It's me, Ron. Three days in, exhaustion has taken its toll, and now Tiger, Little Poe, and Princess Cat has distended bellies. It's a thing. The web says we are feeding them wrong. Air is filling their little bellies and they could pop like a tick. <laughs> the schnoodle barks judgment. Are you there, goddess? It's me, Ron. Five days have passed and baby kitty eyes are opening and they are pus filled. We are going to have blind kittens. We are not prepared for this. Goddess, what happened to just baking pandemic bread? The Yorkie leaps up on the sofa and snatches little Poe from our hand and runs off to eliminate the attention-grabbing beast. Screams and sue. Are you there, goddess? It's uh, me, Ron. Day eight, and we realize it's time to find help. We contact a kitten whisperer on the Facebook. She's an actor that also rescues and fosters baby kittens. In less than three hours, 210 texts and prayers to the goddess, she finds a vet tech in Raytown to take the babies. We set up a quarantine parking lot meeting. With social distancing masks, we place the box with Tiger, Little Poe, and Princess Cat in the center of the lot. We retreat to our truck. We watch through our windshield for the exchange. The vet tech steps out, waves, and grabs the kids and drives away. The schnoodle cries in the back seat as we cry in the front. Our love for new life has guided us for over a week. Hey, thank you, Tiger, Little Poe, and Princess Cat. Thank you for showing us that it was never just about us, that there's a bigger world and compassion for others is the answer. Are you there, goddess? It's, it's me, Ron. Update. The vet tech just texted us that the adult mama cat immediately adopted the kids and started nursing them on her own. They are flourishing. And you know what? We are too. Mm -hmm.